Delivering a bomb in combat is a precision action. When troops on the ground radio in coordinates, a B-1B Lancer on Overwatch delivers a munitions package with earth-shattering results. But bombs don't appear out of thin air without someone to build them. And building a bomb takes just as much precision as dropping it. Because as far as building or having the components, they have to be inspected, have to be known that they're ready to go, serviceable to the fullest extent before we can even think about putting together. They bring out the technical data and we go through step by step pretty much from nose to fin as far as uh, installing the fuzzy, installing the fuses, that's all the way up to installing the nose plug as well as the guided uh, guidance set, which is the fin that goes on the back of the bomb. As dangerous as building a bomb can be, the reason behind doing it is simple. The basic thing of it is we provide safety for the guys on the ground with our guided bomb units. We assemble them and make sure they're good to go, make sure they're delivered to the flight line in a timely manner, and they're loaded up on planes ready to go and keep our guys safe. And one little mistake can cost the, is the difference between a guy's life on the ground being saved or having to go to a fallen warrior ceremony, I think. So it's important, I believe. Reporting from Southwest Asia, I'm Air Force Staff Sergeant Michael Wikes.